Welcome, welcome, welcome to this episode of Weigh In, Y'all, a 21-question conversation where we take yet another one of our funny folks through 21 random questions to get to know more about them. We want to thank you guys first and foremost for tuning in to the shenanigans here on Sauce in the City live on Roku. So the way that you find us on Roku is you have to like download the UBS and TV app and then, you know, that's once you get to the Roku channel, you download the UBS and TV app, and then you find Sauce in the City, which is us, which is us assist. And then you'll find all the content. I love it. You guys load on in. It is going to be a great show. The comment section is open okay and you guys are going to love the guests that we have in store for you today and without further ado because you know i can ado to jew and jew and jew we would like to introduce um his screen says uh pb 100 c but we like to call him Cameron. How are you doing today, Cameron? Hello, everybody. I'm doing good. You doing good? Okay, okay. Get 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 in. Get comfortable, um, because the people tuning in today, tomorrow, and beyond are going to definitely want to get to know more about you. Are you ready to give it to them? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So first, because they probably don't know you, I know you. Tell them a little bit about you. Uh, my name is Cameron. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Cumber. Well, I live in Cumberland, Maryland, and I am the son of David Green. Oh my God! I mean, that is very little. That's what I asked, and you definitely definitely gave it to me okay cameron so let me tell you what we're here to do today we are going to play way in y'all a 21 question conversation okay okay i am going to ask you 21 questions in three different rounds the first round will be super duper easy right. second round might get you kicked out your house Third round is some hot pepper moments, and I'm hoping that you do not use your three passes that you are allotted. Okay? Try. You'll try. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, so you get three passes, and let me explain what a pass is. If you have no opinion on something, you don't know about something, or you just plain flat out don't want to answer the question. Okay? Those are mm -hmm. all reasons to use a pass. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you only get three of those. On the third pass, Cameron, we will wrap up the interview. We will conclude it after we ask one last question. Uh, because you're not going to tell us the truth anyway. Or you don't know much. And either right. way, that's going to be a horrible interview. Okay? <laughs> So get your thinking cap on, get your thinking cap on, all right, because we are getting ready to go, and I'm going to start you out easy, right? right. I'm going to just walk you into it all. I am going to show you some images. Oh, here's one. <laughs> I'm a low-key fan, and I was kind of <laughs> stalking your page, and I came up with this one. Tell us a little bit about this photo. Uh, we were hanging out at my, at like, like my cousin's house and that, um, that, um, like, um, the cousin that's holding the baby, like, um, that's my cousin and I'm um, holding the, like, he was holding like an award or whatever for like, it's like athletes that like was like, you know, be balling out, but also okay. be like, get on, um, also been like doing good in school, like the grades and everything like that. And we were just having like couple family pictures. There's a lot more where that came from. We just had, we just I just picked a couple out my phone or whatever. Okay. How about this photo? Oh my! So, <laughs> so this 
So this is my, so I love the cooked steak. This is just like, it's just like started happening like a couple months, like about two months ago. People think that my steaks are dry. They really aren't. Like, I just cooked the steak yesterday, and it was juicy. Like, I, And it was juicy? Yes. Okay, let, let's take a look at this. Oh. Now, that, does not look, that one does not look juicy. It looked a little dry. That was the second, that was the second steak I ever made. Ah, I see. Okay. And okay. I made mine well, off the skillet. We'll forgive you. We'll forgive you. How about this photo? Oh my gosh, like who doesn't love trick cereal? Like I was so excited whenever I was just like get I was just getting off work and I was just like, I need to go to the market. And I was just like, Ooh, I haven't had tricks in a long time. Then I was thinking of that like um commercial like silly wabby twix of the kids. So I'm just like, Oh my gosh, I gotta get this. I gotta post it. I gotta like let everyone know that tricks is back. <laughs> tricks is back. You know what? I love tricks. Tricks was my favorite cereal as a kid. Um, I don't know so much about when they started making them into the little shapes like they're in right now. Like, yeah. I don't know after that. Like, I like the little hard balls. You know, the yeah. hard balls that were yeah. different colors. I like those. And yeah. I was I was pretty okay with that. One of these days I'll just have to get like a bowl. I'll just have to get like three cereals. I wanna mix tricks i want to mix uh lucky charms i want to and i want to mix probably it's either frosted flakes or um or fruity pebbles just mix them all together okay wait wait frosted flakes or fruity pebbles <laughs> yeah what yeah with, okay with, with lucky charms and um and tricks i would definitely mix those in a heartbeat Okay, I'm I'm digging I'm digging the madness. I'm digging the madness. So, uh, you know, I actually mixed cornflakes and sugar frosted flakes. Does that count like as a mix or is it still flakes or flakes? I don't know. Cornflakes and sugar frosted I think it's I think it's still a mix a little bit. Okay, okay. You think it's a mix a little bit? Okay, I see. We on the same page. I'm digging it. Okay, but I definitely was a Trix fan. How mm -hmm. about this photo? Tell us a little bit about this what was, we see this, here. This is my brother's very last um, football game. And, you know, we were just taking a um, bunch of pictures and everything with that. We was like around Mount Ridge or something like that. It was okay. their last football game. My brother, um, even though they was losing... They, um, you know, kept on, um, you know, kept on fighting. He went out with a bang. He had like a um, really nice first down catch, and then he ended up getting a touchdown afterwards. And oh, nice, mm -hmm. nice. Okay, okay. So, you know, we got to cheer a little bit. Okay, got to cheer, cheer. Um, you know what? I tried out for the the cheerleading team, um, one time, and they were like, "Yeah, you have no rhythm," and I was like. Okay, that was one thing to my ego. Then I tried out for the uh, for the basketball team. I made it, right? Okay, because mm -hmm. I think they was just handing out slots to everybody. And uh, my very first time, I thought I was Michael Jordan, and I ran to the hoop, and I tried to dunk. But my body didn't respond to the desires that I had in my head. And yeah. I jumped up, missed everything, and banged my head on the pole. So. Yeah. <laughs> I was, uh... Yeah, you know how people, like, celebrate, like, um, a thousand bench points? I mean, I mean, no, like, a thousand, like, um, points? Absolutely. Yeah, I. this is actually true. In my varsity career... I have obtained a thousand bench minutes, <laughs> but I, but I, I got to play. I got to play. Yes, I made, absolutely. I made, I made a basket in varsity level. I, you can never take that away from me. I got the video, the it, <laughs> all that. I play oh it once God. every year, so no one forgets. Oh my Jesus! Well, I am so glad that. <laughs> you have that photo and video proof evidence um, because that brings us to our first round. So now that you're comfortable, that brings us to our first round, which is the getting to know you round. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Are you ready to begin your questions, Cameron? Right 
All right. First up, how about this? Would you convert to another religion for love? Uh. Probably not. I don't. I don't like per se. Like, you know, I have religion, but I'm not the biggest. Like, you know, I don't. You know, I don't go to church all the time and stuff like that. So <laughs> right. I guess that's a good way to explain it. Okay, very but, cool. You know, it, How about but, this know, one? What is your three. favorite thing to spend money on? Um. Right now it's kind of been it's, right now it's kind of been Spotify. Like I like uh listening to my music and everything like that. Otherwise other other than like this is actually a true story, like this past week or whatever, I think the universe is out to get me. It's always whenever I listen to music and I'm outside and I'm outside my house, it'll start raining or like or just bad weather or something like that. And I think it's be and then like and like, you know, the wilder, the, I mean, like the more the rain pours, the louder I try to sing, and then it just goes pouring like harder. And I'm thinking, you, Mother Nature's probably saying, "You can't sing. Please stop." <laughs> or I'm, make, or I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it hail next time. Oh Lord, we don't want her to make it hail. All right, uh, so like, let's get on uh, off of that one. How is your mood today? What do you think? Relaxed, happy, naughty, sad, great, bored, joyful, or sick? Mm. Can it be more than one? Because I'm feeling relaxed. I'm feeling happy. I'm feeling joyful. You know, I'm just like, it's my. Uh, if one, you would one, like to use your past, yes, you may. Yes, but it's my, yes. It um, it's hopefully it don't rain today. Whenever I whenever I go to the gym, because I gotta walk there. But so but let's yes, unpack like, this. Are you using one of your passes on this question because you can't pick one? Oh no no no! I can pick one. I'm I'm very I'm very happy, you know. Oh. I get, I'm, I'm finally get I finally get to do this twenty one question thing. I've wanted to do this for about a couple of weeks now. Um, it's my oh. day off. Like, Yay! I already, you know, I'm probably gonna watch <laughs> some watch some TV, catch up on some TV shows and stuff like that, and then go to the gym. Like today's gonna be a good day. So oh. I'm happy absolutely today gonna be a good day all right how about this one one has to go and all his work denzel morgan sam eddie will or lawrence <laughs> oh man I, oh, it's good you got it oh. i was very shocked about the whole will smith thing so i'm over here just watching basketball and then i get a tweet like um Will Smith just um just smacked the you know just smacked the shit out of Chris Rock and was like what? And then I'm over here getting on YouTube and I'm over here looking at everything and I'm just like and then I finally saw the video and I was like, bro, yo, was just making a joke. And I, and I re then I found out about the whole his wife um like being bald thing and I was just like, oh, I could see it both ways, but you still didn't have to smack yo like in front of everybody like. You're, so, that in be... answer to this question, one has to go in all his work. Who's who's getting the boot? I'm not, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep Will Smith. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say what's his name Morgan. Morgan Freeman. Oh, the goat. Okay, okay. Uh, well, Morgan Freeman gets the boot. Here we go. You get free tickets to go to only one. Who are you? Who you got? Bone Thugs and Harmony, DJ Quick, Mac Ten, Dog Pound, Sugar Free, Second to None, and I can't read that last one. So just pick out of those. <laughs> What's the Dog Pound? Because you know I've always wanted the dog. So like, is that where you get? Is that where you just? Is that where? Is that the other? Is that like another way to say shelter? Like I'm, you know, I'm trying to get me, I'm trying to get me a golden retriever or something. So you gonna go to the dog pound and try to figure it out? Yeah. Well, I guess we'll just go there and we'll just see what we'll just see what happens. Snoo doggy dog is a part of the dog pound. Okay. <laughs> Name a movie with great music. Name a movie with great mu music. Um, let it shine. 
It's like it came out like maybe 2013, 2014 or something like that on Disney Channel. I could was I can sing them songs, listen them songs like almost every day. Oh wow. Aww. Such, such a good such a good movie. It's such a good movie. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. This is your last question of round one. Are you a hunter or a gatherer? So hunter okay, so if this actually means like hunting, like um I like animals, so I don't hunt, so I guess I'm a gather so maybe I guess I would say I'm a gatherer. Talk it out. Talk it out and see which one you are. All right. So Hunter, that's like, that's always on the attack. I'm a lover, not a fighter. So I probably would probably say maybe I'm a gatherer. And I mean, I feel like I'm the person that'd be bringing the that'd be bringing the food to the household or whatever. Um, you know, me and my dad and everything like that. So, I I don't, I don't know. And he'd be doing his thing on the football field, but I be I'd be doing my thing on the I'd be doing my thing in the kitchen, as you can't see if from that steak. So. Okay, did you keep them entertained? I feel like I did. Okay, I pick that you are a gatherer. Is that what you said? Yep. Yay, match number one. (laughs) Okay, (laughs) cool. Yay, yay. Because I like to see if I can pick it out, uh, which one you are before you say it. So I want you to tell the people who are tuning in today, tomorrow and beyond which one. And I take the headset off and then I come back and I guess, Uh, and I got it right. Right. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I know new games, new games. Cause I have to see the people I'm actually playing with. And that was your last question of that round. Are you feeling confident? How are you feeling after round one? Feeling pretty good. Yeah, you feeling like you could do this? Like it yep. might okay, okay, because yep. we are getting ready to go to keep round on, two. Yeah, uh, you want to keep on keeping on? Yeah. You, you think you got it in you like that to to do it one more again for another round? Oh, I thought my shirt said just do it. So that's been like tough if I like this is just under armor, but but yeah, let's keep let's keep it going. Okay, so uh, next up, it is game time, and this is where we are going to play a few games included in the questions that I am going to give you. Are you ready to play some games? Oh, I love games. Oh, he loves games, y'all. He loves games, Um, and I always love to play games with people so let's go through and see which games we will play i think we are going to go with the 60 second spit are you ready cameron to get your lips together and give us 60 seconds of funny on various topics that we present to you. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Let me see. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to save that one to the end. I'm going to save that one to the end. All right. I'm going to save that one to the end. Okay, how about this? Da, 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 da. Which friend are you? The stoner, the clown, the alcoholic, the outlaw, or Mr. Reckless? 60 second spit. Let's go. I'm the clown, hands down. Like, I'm, <laughs> I don't, now, 
Now, previous history, I don't know how I was not voted class clown in high school. I got voted most, most talkative or whatever, but I'll still take that any day or whatever. I'm always, I was always spitting jokes in class and everything like that. I'm like probably one of the funniest people you'll, I always, te- whenever I meet, whenever I meet, a, whenever I meet a girl or something like that, I text, um, first thing I text her is like, I got to warn you about something. She'll be like, what's that? I could be one of the top five funniest people you'll ever meet. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, le- I'm just letting you know. Those like, bring it on. Sometimes that, sometimes they might always, might not always think that's the case, but I've gotten a lot of feedback or whatever, you know, I like, I like having fun. I like having, I just feel like when you're living your life, like in life, you just want to live to the very fullest. So I don't try to focus on too much negative. I focus on a lot of positive. I like to make funny videos, whether it's just, just stupid lip sync videos, or I just make stuff up myself, like doing pranks. Sometimes I prank my dad once in time. <laughs> once a Maybe, you guys maybe. should do a Prince and Michael Jackson video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, time. Very nice. Your next one up is name a great first date night activity for two under thirty dollars. Sixty seconds spit go. Mini golf. The reason why I say mini golf, mini golf is only seven dollars. So <laughs> you can at least do mini you can at least do mini golf like two to three times or something like that and but uh, but hey sometimes a little bit more because you never know like if you got one of those like the lucky swings at the end you win free games so hey and plus, you know like hey hey for all the men out there like you know like take your lady out there you you gotta like sometimes you gotta show her how to hit it you gotta you know arms around the arms around her and everything like that romantic now and the mini golf just like oh my gosh like just don't be like my dad. Just don't be like my dad and like hit the ball in the hole and then go to and then go pick it up and then end up splitting your boxers. <laughs> I will never forget that day. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Good thing that it's time. It's time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We ain't gonna let him tell that story, David Green. We ain't gonna <laughs> let him tell that story okay okay so (laughs) that that was good though i was like oh no 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 all right okay so your last question will be this one who do you think had the best arguments do you think it was shanae and pam oh my god from martin was the funny it was like one of the funniest characters I've seen on like <laughs> you know like com- on comedy shows. Like, oh no! If oh it- really? Yes. Whenever like there be Shanae scenes and stuff like that, like that probably be one of my favorite like episodes to watch of Martin's or whatever. I can't exact. I can't exactly like do an impression because I forget what kind of things she would say. But I just love like her attitude, and, and I just love like how like boss bitch she basically was and did everything <laughs> like that, thinking she's all that and everything like that. I thought it was funny as hell. Like she had like them long ass nails, like the like the weave. Like it was just, it was just like a perfect character. Oh my gosh! Oh jeez. Okay, okay. So uh, game time is going well. Your sixty second spits have been off the dead chain. So you are speeding right through and you are doing well. That is a short round because you know, you don't get it easy for that long, right? Until we start throwing the big questions at you, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for all intents and purposes, sir, you have made it through the game time round. Congratulations. Would you like to keep going to our third hot tamale round? Or would you like yeah. Absolutely yes. Absolutely yeah. Okay. Absolutely yes, you guys. So we are going to conclude with our contestant. Our, our funny guy, he's been entertaining us all this time, and uh, we're just going to take a quick second to let you guys know, if you guys want to watch us on your TV and catch us, we have a weekly schedule that you will not believe. Simply access your Roku device or access your friend 
who has a Roku device, and you guys can take that any way you like. Download the UBSN TV app on Roku right there. See how that works out, y'all? Right there, UBS and TV. Download the app, okay? And then the next thing you guys are going to do is find Sauce in the City. See, there we are. Um, that's what it looks like behind the scenes when we get scheduled in, right? So when when Katash, shout out to Katash for all his hard work. Um, when he programs us in, this is what it looks like. See all them broadcasts, y'all? Those are all us those are all us okay okay so if you need a clear cut instruction list here you go it's easy to join us access your roku device download the ubs and tv app search sauce in the city and when you find us when you do find us please Take a photo and submit it to us because we do have an ongoing media wars contest going on. Whoever has the best picture of us on Roku wins $25 and we will be using your photo in the show. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and now we are ready to go to the third and final round and he said he is ready so let's find some really searing questions these ones have to be the real searing ones all right first up what is this oh so normally whenever people be on their break they'll use that opportunity to eat or like be on the phone i didn't have my phone because like i forgot no like my phone went charge and I didn't have a charger down there. So I was just like, you know, I feel like being a kid. So I was just like, let me just make, let me just color. And then like, I'm going to give it to my manager and be like, Hey, can we put this on the, can we put this on like the office door or something like that? And lo and behold, it's on the, um, it was on the office door. It's in the break room now to, um, to this day, I still think. Oh my God. No kidding. And so I you just, you just drew it and was like, no, I didn't draw it. I um the the or colored it. It was around it was around Christmas time, so they already have um photo, like pictures like that printed out, and then they have like a station of color and stuff like that. So I'm over there. I was there was no kids around me, but I definitely felt like a kid whenever I was like you know just like getting all the colors except. But like here's the thing though, this is how mature though. I colored inside the lines, other than like when I was like <laughs> making the yellow around to make it look like it's. Make like it's uh, make like it's lighting up and everything like that. I got a lot of I got a lot of good feedback. Like, oh, that's you cover pretty good. <laughs> you they could have They could have been lying to me, but you know. <laughs> right on, right on. Okay, okay. I like your style already. I like your style already. All right. So here we go. Jada Pinkett Smith glitters in gold in first public appearance since Oscars at Performing Arts Academy opening. Now, my question to you is, do you think Jada Pinkett is getting off kind of light in this? Like Will Smith is taking all the hard hits and she's like looking like an angel in all of this in this gold, amazing dress with her bald head. I mean, I heard that I heard that Jada like a. Uh... She was, um, she was, um, ah, oh, shoot, I'm trying to think what to say. I heard something about, like, you know, she chose, um, the be ball. She's, um, she said she liked that look. And, like, you know, she, she said that, um, she, she said something about empowering or something like that, um, like, to be, a, um, to be okay, like, um, you know, to, like, have, like, have a look like that and everything like that. So I think it was kind of hypocrite, well, not hypocrite, but I'm going to say, like, I didn't think she had the like. I don't know what how she didn't get Chris Rock, Chris Rock's joke to be funny, because like, and let's let's be honest here. Whenever we're com like we're all comedians. Whenever we make a joke, it's just to make make people laugh. Whether you know we can just make jokes, pulling out pulling it out of our ass, just saying random stuff, just for it to be funny and, th and everything like that. That's how my take is on it and everything. So sometimes you just don't gotta take things personally. Sometimes you gotta laugh at yourself. Amen to that. Look at him dropping gems and knowledge. Okay. Okay. Here we go. 
Next up, Bill Browder, who once ran Russia's largest foreign investment fund, says companies staying in Russia is like doing business in Nazi Germany. So do you think all the American businesses should like just leave? Or do you think that there are, you know, there's reasons for some of them to stay? Because obviously all of them haven't come out. So do you think they all should jump ship? Um, when running a business, you got to always, whenever, when running a business, you got to always think of like what, on what you can always do to improving, um, and get better. And like, also think about like, what's going to, what's going to be more successful on your, on your, on your behalf. I'm not a business owner, but like nor have I ever done business other than like doing fundraisers and stuff like that, where shout out to myself. Like I, I raised like <laughs> 600 some dollars. Yay, right on way to go. But, but yeah, like, uh, I, um, it's unfortunate that some places do end up shutting down stuff like that for, for reason, you know, it's a, it's very, I find it very, um, um, annoying whenever like, you find you like going to this place, like a re- whether it be a restaurant or a store and everything like that. And then, like a couple weeks later, you find out that like they're either relocating or they're or they're like or they're like closing down. I was like, wow, I really like that place. And then they replace it with something really stupid. Like sometimes, like there would be some very corny ass like put on like businesses and stuff like that. Like I. It's, oh my gosh. Okay, all right. How about this one? Hall of Famer Gil Brandt under fire for disgusting and sensitive comments about Dwayne Haskins' death. So let me clue you in. Dwayne Haskins is the Steeler quarterback that got mm-hmm. hit by the dump truck. Mm-hmm. And this other guy, Far, uh, Famer Gil Brandt, or whatever his name is, he said he was making jokes. He was cracking and sensitive jokes, such as he. Sh- why is he walking on the freeway kind of thing you know and and there there people are saying that <laughs> these comments are insensitive i'm like are they insensitive or is he just poking fun at someone walking on the the thought of somebody what are you doing on the highway like is he just making fun of that <laughs> it's he, uh, yeah he yeah people are taking that definitely the wrong way he's talking about like why would why would someone in general be walking on the highway or whatever, um, knowing cars going by and and everything like that? People are taking it like they're making fun of like Dwayne Haskins or whatever, like um, you know that he's, you know, saying that um that he's stupid, like what is he doing or like or you know like why um why people, like, whenever a life is lost, that um that always that um you always gotta think about that first, like. You don't just think about like um like you know he didn't have the best like yeah he had success in Ohio State but he didn't have the best success in with Washington but he was put in a situation with Pittsburgh that he was actually like going to be able to probably thrive and like show everyone like to his fullest potential but like it's just so sad that like it you was know, cut like, short yeah it was cut short Oh, yeah. So yeah. I, I I think that you made a good point. Like uh, this uh, Hall of Famer Gil Brandt, he needs to realize that a life was lost. Mm-hmm. And the most like sad thing too, like um the other thing that's also, yeah, like, um you know, like he just recently got married in 2021 that I found out. And he also, you know, like, oh, wow. you know, like he's, he's a son, he's a, He's a son, brother, you know, all that stuff, or whatever. But also, what I also thought was crazy was he was in Florida. He was just leave. Um, he was in. He was like around Florida practicing with his like teammates or whatever. So, so like that, like really showed like that, like um, he was really dedicated to like do um, like putting himself like like leadership kind of wise, like with the team and everything like that. Because quarterbacks are leaders and everything like that. Like I. It was just really, it was just really sad that, like, that was the very first thing I, I saw in the morning, like, about a couple of days ago when it happened. I was like, damn. Like, I, yeah. like I, you know, condolences out to the family and everything like that. 
Absolutely. Look at you dropping the knowledge like boom. I can see your compassion is in the air. So we'll go with this next question. Your best friend is getting beat up. Do you jump in, call the police or do nothing? Um, I would, I would, I would, I would step in. I'd probably get my ass kicked in the way because I'm, you know, <laughs> not a fighter, but yeah, hey, I might, I might throw, I might throw a good little handmaker in there. Like, Let's get off my friend. And then he turns around, and then you're, he turns around, like say it's a big dude, and you're thinking, you thinking in your head, oh my, what do I do now? It's too late. It's too. It's too late. It's too late to run. I look like a bitch. I'm just have, I'm just have to take the punch. <laughs> but you know, hopefully, like you know, he takes a swing. You know, you can use your, you know, you like your, your somewhat athletic ability and be like, I missed you, but let me just come back and just be like, mm. you know, like. Well, it's good to know. Just know, just know, when you're helping your friend out and you're not a fighter, you might, you might go, you might end up going to sleep earlier than you thought. You know that day. Ooh. Haven't been in that situation yet, but you know. They still young. You never know what could happen. Oh my God, goodness! I was watching on TV the other day. Um, Love before lockup. I love these shows, right? Mm -hmm. And so the two guys were fighting over the girl because she just got out of prison, and they both were there to pick her up. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one guy who was taller than the other guy, he was like, "Oh, you're gonna hit me!" And he stuck his chin out. Mm -hmm. And he got knocked out. It was <laughs> on live TV. It was it was so shocking. I was like, I, I have not seen anybody do that in a little while. So next question: Do you believe in soulmates? Yes or no? I absolutely do. I feel oh. like you sometimes like you don't. Okay, so my opinion is you don't always know. You know some people. You know, it's not always love and first sight, and it's not always like, you know, like um, high, you know, high school, like high school relationships are very like hard to come by, like um, outside, outside of like uh, you know, once you graduate and everything like that and everything. But like, when you know that like this person's right for you, you just you just know. It's just like in your, it's just like a feeling in your heart and everything like that. I have yet to know that like. I have that. I've had that experience, but I haven't had that reciprocated back to me. I'm hoping eventually, sometime soon, that that can happen because you know, I just it's so annoying whenever like you're like um you're like talking to like one of your friends, something like that. They like you like, and they're telling you about like they're they're telling you about relationship issues and everything like that, and like how you know I've had. I've I've had I have friends that like have been like abused. They've been they um they just been like talked trash to and and like just just put um just like really bring that person who like was a very like joyful spirited person like down. So yes, I but yes, I do believe in soulmates, and and when the time's right, you just know you just know when you know. Oh, <clears throat> that's so sweet. All right. Uh, speaking of soulmates and sweetness, have you ever had a crush on a teacher? Weigh in, y'all. I think everyone, I think everyone, when they were younger, whenever, like, they first got over, like, the whole cuties thing and all, all that, whatever, would, be, um, would always be, like, thinking, um, oh, my gosh, like, I need, um, um, I can't wait to give this apple to um put this apple on the desk for Mrs. Such and such, like, or or you know, like I know like girls always be having crushes on teachers. Sometimes like um it would be the funniest converse. It, it would just be the funniest thing. I'll be I'll be like in lunch room or something like that, and then you'll have like couple um girls saying, Mister, what's a Mister? I'm not gonna say names, but Mister Such and Such was looking good today, you know, and like and guys be and guys. Not gonna lie, guys just be saying like Yo's got a nice ass and, and stuff like that. <laughs> like I'm, I'm just being, I'm, I'm being hundred percent honest. Like oh I'm, I'm guilty of it. Like everyone, everyone all has like always has that one crush on a teacher. <laughs> oh my dear Jesus! Woo! Let's check in with our audience. Uh, audience, if 
if you believe in soulmates, yes or no, go ahead and put it in the comments. You too can be a part of the show. And uh, if you want to challenge the theory of PB100C, AKA Cameron, um, has everybody had a crush on the teacher at one point in time? Like, put it in the comments. We would like to know what your thoughts are. Um, next question up, if you get in trouble, what's your greatest asset? Hmm. Sometimes it's like using your com using using like your comedy and, and, and being funny and stuff like that to get out of them situations like I would like um you know like some you know I'll be playing the game and then like um we'll be, and then like we'll be talking trash like um fuck you bitch like um I'll like um I'll fuck your ass up like um IRL and stuff like that. What happens whenever you actually meet up with that person IRL that you've never met before? What and like and like like I said like before like what if he's a lot bigger and he's like and like, you know he's all fit and everything like that and you're just like Hey yo man, remember that game whenever like I threw that pick? Like that was crazy. Like you got that pick six now. You you got lucky on that, but like wasn't that just funny? Like wasn't we just having fun at that time? You gotta know you gotta know when to you gotta know when to take yourself out of situations that you don't think are gonna end that bad. I mean that, that you think are gonna end that bad. I, I totally get it. You gotta sometimes you gotta defuse the situation, yeah. and uh, that was a good one. That was a good throw off, uh, a misdirection, as as your dad would call it. Because um, <laughs> I totally would have forgotten that you talked all the junk, and I would be like, "Yeah, I did get the pick six, and yeah, you know, like my whole ego would take over." Yeah, so great job. <laughs> I totally see that working. If there was an Oscar award for you, what would it be? Bonus, give us your acceptance speech. I'd like to give myself the Perseverance Award if that if that ever if, if, that, if that ever you know because I'm because I'd be I'd just be like going. It's hard being this positive all the time. Like people <laughs> always like always hated me for loving Mondays. People looked at Mondays like. Oh, the weekend's over. First day back school. I like Mondays because I'm like, yo, I don't got, I don't, I don't got, I'm like lived in the, in the middle of nowhere and I don't drive or nothing like that. So like when I, Monday's just like, Hey, I get to see my friends for five days and then I'm lonely again. But you know, <laughs> um, so I deserve the perseverance award for always keeping that, keeping that positive attitude. Always. Always, always cracking jokes whenever like not necessary, and I also deserve perseverance for, for 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 doing sports because especially basketball. I didn't, I played no, I didn't play at all in basketball until my until like senior night, and then a the game afterwards when I finally scored my first varsity bucket. When I scored my first varsity bucket. That was kind of like my. That was like to my. That was like kind of like a message to my coach. Like, yeah, first time, first time I get a shot, I make it. Like, see, what 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 would have happened? Um, what could have happened if like um if I got more playing time? And I and I and I, you know, perseverance for, you know, always. I'm a, like when I played soccer and other sports, I'm like, I'm like a major hustler. I don't got skill. I don't got skill like dribbling on stuff like that. I hustle. Oh, okay. Like you're talking to a guy that like we're playing a soccer game. We're up nine. We're up nine zero, and I won the score. And I'm sprinting over on um, the to keep the ball in bounds. I didn't keep the ball in bounds, but I did like a flip or whatever, like in in order to like somehow that somehow do it. And then also in track, I also was trying to qualify for my 300 meter hurdles. And I was and I was winning my heat. I was killing my heat. Oh my and, god! I see. Okay, we gonna I give should, you the perseverance award. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're definitely. I, I, I was role. seeing I you living your dreams right here, yep. reliving them right here I again sure, I sure am. on I sure camera. Am. I, I definitely am glad that we could give that to you. I swear, if I ever meet you in per person i'm gonna go down to the trophy shop and get you a trophy that says 
perseverance. All right, our next question up. Chris Rock will not talk about Will Smith slap until he quote unquote gets paid. What do you think about this? Gets paid. I feel like Chris Rock like definitely has like choice words about the whole situation that happened, but I, I understand it. It's kind of like whenever an athlete, it's kind of like sometimes like whether it's athletes or just like celebrities or whatever, you don't always like want to like talk about like what you're thinking or whatever. You don't want to let people know what you're thinking, whether because you got to think whether or not like people will think of you a different way or something like that. So, okay. I, so I understand it's kind of like, it's kind of like an athlete um, ans- um, answering, like, answer or celebrity answering a question that, like, that, like, the store, that, like, the, um, whoever's, like, interviewing them will, like, make so much money off of, like, that certain question. So it's all, it's almost like Chris Rock just, like, do I want someone to, so who, do I feel like someone getting, do I feel like, um, helping someone get paid today? <laughs> Well, his silence is definitely helping someone get paid today because as long as he remains silent about it, um, him and Will will remain in the public eye. So I'm, and on, I think, and on TikTok. <laughs> And on TikTok and abroad. It will be on social media for forever, ever, 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 ever. And, sir, you have made it to the end of the third round. Woo! Congratulations! Ha, 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 ha. And now we have the big game round, which you have earned your way to. Are you ready for the big game round, sir? I mean, I wasn't given the Perseverance Award by choice for no reason, so... Let's get it going. Let's do it. All right. This is one that we love so much. We love it. We love it. We love it so much. And uh, this one is called Sell That Skill on Roku. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to give our contestant 60 seconds to pick up the thing nearest to him on his left. And give a Roku worthy salesman pitch of the year. 60 seconds, Cameron, sell that skill on Roku. All right. So, you ever just like bored and you just like don't know what to do with your life? This thing can either make you money or this can just like, you can end up on YouTube. I suggest you get this ukulele. Like I'm, like when, I, when I'm, when I'm telling you, like you don't even gotta know how to play it. Like it's just, it's just such a good old time. Like this thing, this thing will sell fast. You can get this in multiple colors. You can get it in blue, black, white, red, green, etc. You don't, like I said, you don't even gotta know how to play it. Like people can make, you can make videos. You can make fake videos saying this is how you play. You gotta um, strum this key. Okay, like, what, and plus, it's just like if you actually knew how to play it, it like, it's 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 a very it's a very nice sound to listen to constantly. <laughs> oh, okay, um, I'm giving it up for the ukulele sale, and now because I saw that you have one, we're gonna we're just gonna jump right into game one A, and I am going to get you to pick up your ukulele and I am going to give you a chance to strum me three tunes for the viewing audience, okay? Um, so that, so like this is name me. that ukulele tune. Tune number one. Oh, name a ukulele. Oh, so I'm going to like do a, so I'm going to try to do my best to strum like a song? Yes. And I'm going to see if I can guess it. Go. Okay, I'll try. Hey, 
Okay, I don't know. I tried doing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Oh, that, hey, you had a jazzy Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Like, okay. No, no, pick it up again because you oh, okay, got I'm round good. two. Okay. You got round two. All right. All right, here we go. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Yes, that's Jingle all, all the way. Okay. <laughs> oh, what fun it is to ride it away. Okay, okay, okay. I got okay. one. And I got now one good three. one. I just thought of it. Oh. One, number three. Chance is that not it? No, I was trying to do we will we will rock you. Oh man, very good effort. Like I, like I said, everybody, you don't gotta know how to play it. Don't you just have like a good time just like doing rich random shit? Oh my god, that is going to go amazing on TikTok and Roku, um, and YouTube and Facebook. So thank you guys all for tuning in and Cameron thank you so much for joining me this morning for this 21 question conversation you have done outstanding 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 and I'm sure so I got through all the questions absolutely you got you you knew you got through all the questions because you got to play the game at the end of the round nobody gets to play the game at the end of the round if they don't finish the questions I mean, what what can I say? My dad owes me a swear piece. (laughs) You made it through all the questions, and now we have three more bonus questions for you. Are you ready? Just to make sure that we get in all the questions. Yep. Number one, did you have a good time? I had an absolutely fabulous time. Woo! Number two, have you ever been a part of anything like it on the internet or anywhere? Nope, I have certainly not. I've never been oppor- um been upper been given the opportunity to. So I thank you for this. Oh well, you are more than welcome. We had such a good time with you, Sunny Boy. It was like I don't know a breath of fresh air. But you are gonna have to sit still because you're giving me like vertigo or something. All right, I'm sorry. I, I I, it's to, okay. I just had to, you know, like. <laughs> Between me and my dad, I think we all know who this definitely belongs to now. Oh, my dear Jesus. Question number three. Do you think this pairing is going to work out? Give us what you think. Hmm. My dad hasn't really mentioned anything about about her um, I, i'm like you know i like um i'm always like i'm up for like a whoever i'm always I, I always like seeing love even if i even if i don't have myself i always lo- it's always something you love to see oh so, yeah uh, so i'm rooting you rooting i'm yeah. rooting for them too uh I'm thinking it's going to be an awesome online date and it is going to be amazing. Now, at the end of all of our shows, we give you a chance to shout out. So go ahead and take this moment to take your bow for making it through the entire show. Shout out. Well, you said bow, so you know, like, <laughs> but, uh, but okay, but um, all seriousness though. Um, shout out to you, Brenda, for giving me this amazing opportunity. Also, Roku for having me. Um, shout out to my dad. My dad, my dad has kind of got me like um has is what got me into into all this and introduced me to you and Sauce in the City. And also like shout out to myself for like for just absolutely dominating and killing this. Like I've I've heard that not a lot of people have went through all the questions and <laughs> first first attempt I, I did not disappoint you did not disappoint and question 3b is will you come back again and let us dig a little deeper you know that you know that one song for tinkerbell <laughs> yeah I'm definitely I'm, yeah definitely <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my dear Jesus. Well, thank you so much, Cameron, for coming by our happy little home. And for you guys out there, if you would like to be a part of the show, just go ahead and comment right here on this video. That's all you have to do. Like, share, comment. That's what helps us out. Um, I think we are providing great content um, and it is getting us out there in places we didn't even know that we should be out there in. Um, little word to the wise, uh, you know, the line gets longer and longer, the longer you wait. So if you have any bit of, you know, I want to do this, go ahead and either reach out to us direct or you guys can comment on this video. We are Googleable. So to make sure that you guys get the name of the show, this is us, Sauce in the city you guys can find us on twitter youtube facebook tiktok clubhouse soon to be fire stick and yeah we just trying to be everywhere that we know or think that we should be in okay because these are all live shows and they are straight to Roku. They are a straight injection of funny communication, comedy, music, TV, business, laughter, shenanigans, crazy people, you name it, we your folks. So if you guys will do us the honor and join us on Roku, please, please, please go ahead and access your Roku device or your friend that has one. Download the UBSN TV app, okay? Please remember to do that. If you don't remember to do that, you will not be able to find us, okay? All right. And then, of course, you do the simplest thing of all is you find sauce in the city. And remember, we are Googleable, you guys, and we are over here spotlighting everything that we can think of. Comedians, stages, food, uh, just everything. Everybody is always welcome. Um if you guys are in the areas of these shows, please make sure that you get with these good people because these are all going to be great shows. Hope Flood is a doll. Charlie Mack is my boy. And shout out to Katash and UBS and TV for getting us over here on Roku and Fire Stick and hopefully there's an app to be coming up soon. But in the meantime, April 29th, guys, Friday comedy show. Javon Pearson even gonna be there. And I heard he was like super duper funny. I'm just saying it could be a thing, could not be a thing. I don't know. Also, if you guys, you know, want to get out and stretch your funny bags, um, this Thursday coming up, is the pop-up comedy mic with Bobby Sticks and Delilah. It is always a good time with these two people. With that being said, everybody, this is your girl, Brenda Brown, a.k.a. The Chocolate Child. We appreciate the viewing eyes, and you guys come back and check us out. Wednesday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time when we handle the business of comedy in Sauce in the City virtual business bubble. We are out. 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, y'all. Y'all do the math and the time zones. We out.